Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Red Raiders have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. intimidating. Jones AT&T Stadium, home of Texas Tech, is our venue for the action coming up. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Williams takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 36. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 16. Green pass incomplete. That brings us third and ten. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Patterson is the punter. Coley takes it at the 49. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Singleton's a guy that quarterbacks like you, Herbie, have got to love. You get it somewhere in the area, he's going to pull it in. And, and really, specifically looking at him and the relationship that he has with his quarterback, it just seems like these guys have spent hours working in the offseason trying to develop that chemistry because there are a lot of times where the quarterback's anticipating and throwing the football before this receiver's out of his break. That just shows me great communication and great chemistry between a quarterback and an outstanding wide receiver. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. And it's caught, and down he goes at about the 21. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. field brought down right around the 12 yard line very solid gain through the air i'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football
Touchdown, Red Raiders. And he hits the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Wildcats roll in today, ranked number 20. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. The Wildcats have the lead, 13-7. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Smith has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the 7th. He's out to the 30. He got hit hard. Texas Tech's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run up the middle. Nice run, and he's brought down. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain and a first down. Done. Again, he's at the 30. He has some room. Touchdown, Owls. Oh, my, what a run that was. Oh, I'll tell you what, this kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT with a three-play, 54-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Jacobs is lined up to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. He has such a quick first step. Once he made that initial move to the inside on the slant, he already had the space he needed for the first down. He's into the open field. interception and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver you wonder why you're not playing wide receiver because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back quick throw out to the receiver he's tackled around the 48 yard line might need to make some changes to their coverage scheme because that was just too easy. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled around the 32-yard line.
carries the ball for a nice game. Fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at it. His hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down around the seven yard line. Personal foul. Basement. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. It's first down, and they come to the line with a first and goal. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's in trouble. It's on the ground, and the offense will recover. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. And how about that for some good luck? From the 10 yard line, it's second down. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. complete he's got room to work tackle right around the four yard line Johnson gained six yards with a short completion this should be an easy field goal Texas Tech is looking to go up by three the kick is up and it's good even though they gave up a field goal here that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now it could have just as easily been a touchdown Smith looks ready to kick this one off Williams from the six gets to about the 27 yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive and it resulted in six. to the right and is brought down in the backfield. After one, this game's still pretty close. The Red Raiders with a three-point lead. to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Six-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas Tech is up a field goal. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. Shoved out of bounds at the 49. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. I hope you got the rest because I'm about to take you to school. Kill, kill, kill. Black, black. Three, eight. Go, eight. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a gain of seven. That'll make it third and one. He scrambles. And they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Burton wants to pin these guys deep, and you got to think he'll be looking coffin corner on this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Quick toss. To the senior. To the 10. They'll bring him down around the three yard line. fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. And down he goes around the two-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. So a four play, 56 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Jacobs has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27. Texas Tech's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit, and they're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. You have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Find his receiver, and that's a first down. Brought down at the 45. They 
takes it up the middle for a nice run. Scott gets six yards on the play. The Red Raiders taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Gordon was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and four. to his receiver. Just don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. This is the eighth play of this drive. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Scott, intended the receiver on the play. And here's another third down. Rifles this one out to the left. He's hit and taken down. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. And this is the tenth play of the drive. There's a strike complete. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Update time from the top 25. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Cornhuskers deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Cornhuskers lead 24-20. Separated by a field goal here, Reese, 17-14 in our game. Smith ready to kick. Number four, He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes the catch, and look out. And they make the stop right around the 48-yard line. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Where? That'll bring up second and three. Now he's scrambling. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow, 
scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked. Back-to-back -back sacks. These hits take a toll on the quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of it. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. The Red Raiders with a three-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. Foley takes it from the six. What a collision! They're ready to begin another drive. Texas Tech has a three-point lead. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Cox gains seven yards with a catch there. He's on the run. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Gives it to the back. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings up second and 13. Texas Tech is up by three. Zips it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it third and 15. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Larry, Larry, Larry. Let's see the seven. Get the seven spike. I got one. I got one. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled at the 39. Rogers brings his down to the 39 yard line. That'll make it fourth and 14. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. 
There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's taken down at the 23. Gets to about the 41 yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He's at midfield. Tackle right around the 42 yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. into the open field. Makes it out to about the 29. Game 15 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game four on the play. That makes it second and six. Stopping his tracks with that tackle. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Mike seven. Mike seven. He's got an opening inside the ten. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Seven to one. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Kansas State, who needs to throw it when you run it this effectively? A touchdown coming on the ground. The Wildcats on top by four. All right, Reese, back to our game. Cold the Owls quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They hand it off. That's a great tackle at the 36. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. Moves up, and the defense has got him. Call it a loss of five yards on the play. Third down. from their own 31-yard line. It's third down. He steps out at about the 43-yard line. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. 
The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. He's taken down at the 28. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Here's a running play. Nice run to the outside. That's three down and one to go. Rice is up by four. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Rice is up by four. Tackle made right around the 40. Not a safe pass at all. Really tight coverage and not a lot of room. Credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 48. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 35. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 27-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That brings him second and five. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He gets rid of this one. From the 17-yard line, third down. Rice is up four. Black five, black five, green nine, green nine. Williams gets the ball, takes it up the middle for a nice run. Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drive. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Gets to about the eight yard line. Give it off here. He fights forward to about the seven. tries to buy some time keeps it and he's got a touchdown
Kennedy converts the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Cornhuskers were ranked 18th. They hope this victory will push them even higher. This was a tight one to the very end. And for Mosley, a huge day with four touchdown strikes. The Cornhuskers pull it out by a field goal. Elsewhere, time to get you up to date from Stillwater. And for Houston, they draw first blood with a passing touchdown. Hartz is a dangerous trigger man in this passing offense, and he already has a touchdown pass. Houston has the edge, 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Rice Everyone's lined all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Cox from the four. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Red Raiders have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Just over two minutes in the game. And they make the stop at the 34. Throws it out and off. He's hit hard for a loss. That makes it third and three. He wants it all going long. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they push him out around the four-yard line. Need a touchdown here to get back in this game. They line up in the jumbo set. And two. Over the middle, tight end's got it. Touchdown. Well, they're going to try for the two point conversion. Nice five-play, 74-yard drive. But they just get six points after failing to convert for two. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just under two minutes in the game. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Done. Gained seven yards on that play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Texas Tech's out of timeouts. Well, the idea here was obviously not to try anything tricky or force the ball down the field. A simple throw, and they got the first down that they needed. Takes the ball right. Here he goes. Makes it to the 14. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Hands it off. And they hit him in the backfield. 
Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, eight. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Singleton's going to be the first guy to say that this game was his fault. He's just got to get back at practice this week and hope for better things next week. Yeah, he puts so much pressure on himself. And after this kind of performance, you know he's going to be the first guy back in the meeting room, first guy back in the weight room and out on the practice field to try to put this loss behind him and try to get better. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.